create the front Sydney. Hello everyone and welcome to Create with France. We are talking about creating the life that you want, whether it's your relationships or work or your fitness. We always cover those topics that I hope will be of help. So before you even think about going to a therapist, you can just have a look and see that maybe in my bullet points there is something that can help you to move forward. So it's very exciting for me today to share the four things that can make a big difference in your success and this applies to all areas of your life. So if you're interested in knowing why you're not having success, maybe these four aspects can kind of lit up a little lamp in your head and you might think, right, that's something I have not considered. So keep tuned. The reason why I'm covering this topic is because so many of my clients come to me feeling quite flat or deflated because of not having success in their business or maybe in their relationship or in their fitness goals. And so they ask me, what am I doing wrong? I feel I'm a complete failure. And sometimes you look at them, at them and you realize they have all the process and the system all in place. It's all perfect but a few things are missing and so after a while you observe and you see a pattern and these are the four things that I noticed that sometimes are just missing despite having perfect preparation and perfect mindset. So let's have a look and dive in. You will not be surprised to know that the very first thing that is missing when things are not going to plan is the lack of a very clear and specific goal, a SMART goal. And I remember talking about it at least twice in the beginning of the year when traditionally we all look for something new that you want to do, you know, and you say, well, what can I do in the 2021? And so you create your goals. But sometimes we are a little bit in a rush, we do very quickly, and we are just very broad and we say, well, I just want to have more success in my business or I want to improve my relationships. I want to be healthier. Okay, these are wonderful goals. But as such, they are so broad that then you might sit down after a month or two and realize that really nothing is happening because there is no strategy, there is nothing clear that is happening and that you have written down anywhere to direct you to this goal. And so it's very important to know that your goal is very clear, it's very precise, so you know what you're doing, where and when you're going to do it and how you're going to do it. And remember the why, because if you don't even know why you're doing it, you will lose motivation and steam well ahead of June, maybe even in February. So that's very, very important. Look back and see in your notes, where did I write down this goal? And if it's not written down, it's merely a wish and that's why it's not happening. The second aspect that I noticed it's very, very common in a lot of business people is that they, especially if they are entrepreneurs, so they have launched a business and they want to see these results. And this aspect is typical of women, I don't know why, but also some of the men. They give up very quickly if they do not see quick results. So they try maybe for three months and then they say, well, no sales or no sales improvement or my boss is not giving me the improvements, uh, I don't know, the raising of my salary or whatever there is. Or maybe they are in a relationship and they want to improve things in there because maybe they are losing their temper too much and they want to learn how to calm down. Or whatever there is, we have loads of goals that sometimes we see that, you know, they're just not happening. Why is it? And um, to reframe this, if you have a process, if you have a strategy, if a process you're using is proven, so you have seen people in your situation applying those steps and they had success, then the only thing that is missing there is persistence, consistency and patience. And I think that this is a really great life lesson that I had to learn in many, many aspects of my life. 
Because the biggest things that we can achieve take a long while to be achieved. They're not overnight success. It takes a lot of time for a singer to become really good at singing. It takes years for a pianist to become excellent to master his skill and to a carpenter to be able to carve or to put together wood in a special way. So why do we expect to be achieving these very fast results, maybe on social media, maybe with our sales or within our relationship, without putting effort for many, many years? You know, maybe you have a wayward child and you think that just being nice to this child for two or three months is going to change things. No, sometimes these challenges that we have are really invitations to grow. As I will repeat until I'm tired and you're tired of hearing myself saying that. But uh, the thing is, for most businesses, it really takes a lot of time and a lot of work, given that the process and the target client is correct and everything. It takes so long just to get there. And that's how is probably the whole nature of life is about trying and trying and being persistent. Just think about Abraham Lincoln. If you look at his life, he was rejected for years and years and years by many people and many organizations. And only in the end, he became the president of the United States. He didn't just give up and say, hmm, this is not working. The results that we get from our efforts sometimes are crowned by success only after many, many years. You might take 20 years to master a foreign language, to have a body shape you like, or to attract the man of your dreams. But when it will happen, it will be worth it because you took some thoughts, you took a lot of efforts, and you really are appreciative of what you have achieved. And I don't really believe in these quick results Yes, sometimes it happens, but they're not really supported by evidence or by a robust growth in the person. So if you are able to touch something and immediately becomes gold, like in Midas uh, example, remember in the proverbial story that we all study when we do uh, the myths and all the whole um, ancient Greeks and Romans. And this is not how life works. So everything needs to be worked on for a long while. As long as you know, what is your goal, what are the processes, you know everybody else is doing it, you have everything in place, you just need to keep going and have a courage and maybe have a mentor to help you, maybe have a friend that is checking up on you and really just have that faith that things will go well in the end. Of course, this is not to say that sometimes we are not reaching our goal, for the very simple things that we have made mistakes along the way. And that is absolutely fine. The important thing is that we do not use those mistakes to feel deflated, to feel that we're not good enough, and to see ourselves as failures. So our mistakes don't really define us. They actually refine us, they make us better because they're teaching us what works, what doesn't work, and what we can do differently. And so always look at them as an opportunity to get things done in a proper way, in a better way, more productive, more useful, depending on what your topic is. Or I should say, depending on what your field is, right? So there are lots of times when we say, well, I've been bankrupt twice, so I'm probably not very good at business. Well, maybe you need some training before you embark in a new business. So this was something that should have been done in the beginning when you were planning for your goals. Or some people say, well, I've been divorced already, so once divorced, always divorced. It's not true because divorce happens with two people. So maybe there are failures in the other person. Maybe you have learned something. And the same applies to, for example, losing weight. How many people go there and try a diet for maybe three, four months. In the beginning, they have quick results. Then they stall on month number four. They lose steam completely and they say, well, I'm just always going to be fat and never going to get better if they don't even try. And here is where the therapist comes in to realize or help you to realize that sometimes it's not that just you are a failure. You just needed more time, more work, and sometimes just consistency and understanding that when we make a mistake, we can always adjust our course. And yes, of course, sometimes we have to go back to square one, 
go back to the drawing board and see is there something that needs changing here? Do I need to be more flexible? Is my goal possible and realistic? And uh, this is not to put you down and say we well, can never achieve a goal, but sometimes is the goal really possible to achieve or are we just dreaming without any evidence that this is possible to achieve? So always have a little reality check and then with faith move forward and just forget about the mistakes and learn from them and move on. Okay, and now we can go to the next part, which is that if we are having success, so we have learned how to clarify the goal, how to clarify what and when happens, etc. And we learn from our mistakes, then when we want this success to continue and to become bigger, then we want to look at all the things that are going well, look at which process is going well and repeat and expand so that if it's your business you might go from one ebook to five ebooks or maybe you have group coaching and you want to, uh, to add seminars I'm, I'm just giving up just anything and not telling you what the structure of your business should be like if you are in a relationship maybe you found out that your boyfriend responds very well to theater plays maybe you want to go and join a book club together or maybe you know you want to look at the relationship issues and you want to move on and add more things more challenges that you can together overcome because you have passed the first stage so always look in a positive way and see well if it is working so well what else can i do to make results even better and i was talking about this uh, very topic last week in a facebook live and instagram live and uh, i based that on nature and I made the example of learning how to do gardening, how to grow fruit and vegetables, how to grow flowers, which of course in the beginning everybody has to learn from scratch. So if you think about a garden, the first time you try to put the seeds, you don't know where they're going to go, what you're going to do, which plant, which type of soils, you have no idea what you're doing, so you're absolutely lost. But once you get your goal in your right, in about between March and April, I can put those seeds into the soil or sprout them in water, then you have your processes, your strategy, and then you try. But of course, when you are a new gardener, you might realize that you might make lots of mistakes. And for a few years, you might just kill off all your plants. They might grow a little bit, be stunted, be covered with animals and diseases. And you think, that's it, I've given up. But if you keep looking back at the mistakes and learning from those who have done it before, read books about gardening, read how and why you plant the plants that you want, what are the common diseases, and how can you avoid those diseases. For example, if you have aphids, you want to look at ant colonies because they feed on one another, they help one another in symbiosis. So all these little things are so much like life. What happens in gardening reflects what happens in life. So the first year, you might be able to do very much little, okay? Very, very little in your garden. The second year, you might have two or three strawberry plants. The third year, you might have fruit trees going on and you might be able to grow even rows of vegetables of different types and who knows maybe in 10 years you might have a greenhouse absolutely chocked up full of beautiful plants fruit vegetables and all sorts of stuff in your garden who knows but you have to get started you have to look back in your mistakes and learn from them and not just throw away all the seeds and say well i'm not cut for this no i thought you're not cut you need some patience you need perseverance and in the end you will be able to walk around your garden, admire your flowers, your fruit, your little uh, creatures and the butterflies around and just appreciate it. The journey was so worth it and life is the same, isn't it? There is this journey that we're on in and sometimes it's not about winning. It's about learning and growing and then sharing your success with your loved one. So to sum up, the episode today was a very short one, but I think it's good to, to go. So clear goal in the beginning, self-confidence, learn from your mistakes, do not use them to put yourself down, but to raise from your ashes. Then be persistent, repeat everything that works well, and then expand your process. 
So that's it for today. There was a very short episode, but to the point, I do not like to do too much fluff around my episodes. I want to give you real information that you can use anytime, any day when you have a problem and you cannot get on the top of it. If you have any questions, just feel free to contact me. You can go to calendly.com forward slash France Sydney to set up an appointment. And it's a free consultation. You have nothing to lose. If you want to look at my articles, etc., you can go to francesydney.com or also you can find me on Facebook. Back again for Facebook, you just put my name and surname and I will be right there. I'm always very happy to answer any questions because I love helping people and see that they're having great success. So thank you very much for being with me today and I'll see you next week. Take care. You have listened to Create with Franz Sidney.